Corporation Managing Director, Engineer Dr. Silvan Jisha, has assured the people of Ntoroko District, especially those affected by floods, that the water body will continue providing chip clean and safe water. As Bernard Jige reports, the flood stricken areas in Kanara, sub-county and Toroko district are in dire need of not only water but also better shelter. Take a look. In Toroko district, the once dry area with promising development is now similar to a lake after floods ravaged the area. Boats are now the only means of transport here, and one is required to part with over 500 shillings to avoid using makeshift bridges. <laughs> this house, now submerged in water, belonged to one Jennifer Kabahenda and her five children until floods displaced them. Kabahenda, a resident of Katanga Parish, is among those who continue to put in temporary makeshift shelters for safety. She wants government to locate them to a safer place. Mm. Mm. Feminine and diseases due to poor hygiene are their biggest threats. Mm. Kabahenda is among over the 20,000 victims from over 3,500 homesteads displaced by the rising waters of Lake Albert that submerged their houses and destroyed valuable properties. In Kanala sub county, the temporary camps established in the area have inadequate amenities such as safe water sources despite a water scheme managed by National Water and Sewage Corporation that draws water from Toroko Water Works, which is 60 kilometers away. <laughs> National Water Managing Director Engineer Siva Mjisha braved the shaky makeshift bridges to assess the situation in the area in order to improve delivery of cheap but clean water to the flood-stricken communities. I was told by the Minister of Local Government to come here, to come and see how we can solve your what? Your problems. What do you Because for us, the President is very clear. He, he doesn't want his people to do what? To suffer. To suffer. Mm -hmm. So we want to put that convenience. Mm -hmm. yeah? This situation of floods, mm -hmm. I'm going to afford her six million. She will come here and discuss with you where can those taps be of 25 shillings per what? Mm -hmm. Then the other people who want to sell it at whatever price they can do, what? they, they can sell it. But it should be known that at that tap it is 25 shillings per what? Mm -hmm. Mujisha is confident that waterborne diseases will become history with the corporation's timely intervention. The people are in the camps and the duty we have as a corporation is to see how these people in the camps can have water so that we don't have epidemics uh, coming up there. Now, the corporation has embarked on putting up additional safe water points in the internally displaced people's camps to be managed by their staff to avoid cases of extortion from middlemen selling water exorbitantly. The districts of Bundibujo and Intoroko have of late been prone to river and lake flooding following torrential rains that pounded the area and other parts of the country. Bernard Higa, UBC News, Intoroko District. Thank you so